Hey YouTube peeps, how's it going? Jason James here with Life in Las Vegas and welcome. How's it going in your world today? Hope everyone's safe, healthy, and uh, having a great day. Anyway, welcome to another newsy thing we do here, Life in Las Vegas. And if you're new to this channel and you're looking for Las Vegas content, we highly encourage you to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button for notifications on new videos coming out. And also, when we're out and about Las Vegas, uh, around the town, we do live streams. So if you want to get a heads up on what's going on or a first-hand look on uh, Las Vegas, you can definitely subscribe and uh, hit the bell button. So there you go. And while you're here, guys, download our free tips guide to Las Vegas. I give over 100 tips and tricks to Las Vegas for free and uh, from where to go, what to do, and a complete list of restaurants with all their food specials on there. So that alone is worth the price, which is free. But if you want to donate, there's also a donate section in there for that, for the cause. Thank you very much. If you do donate, I appreciate that. But let's get to some of the newsy stuff that we do. Late Las Vegas is planning a multi-million dollar Olive Garden on the Strip. If you guys know where the Target store is, uh, it's going to go above the Target. We'll talk more about that. And the new developments for the downtown area are including a urban central park. It's going to be like a miniature park, but uh, on you know on the Las Vegas scale of things, it's going to be pretty nice. We've got a little sketch for you guys to check that out. And MGM lays off a ton of employees, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. And what's up with the entertainment? going on is it coming back as is, is what shows are coming and we can tell you from uh september it looks kind of good for some of the shows but we'll cover that and more coming up Okay, guys. So first on the list, I just want to uh, go. I just want to get this one out here real quick. Is like MGM has laid off a ton of employees. I hear like over eighteen thousand or something like that. Could be more. Could be less. I don't know. But um, yeah, they've laid off a ton of employees. A lot of them here in. Las Vegas. So MGM is one of the largest employers for Las Vegas. And I'm not sure if this is going to be like a short term thing as things get back running to normal again in Las Vegas. Uh, they'll call people back as they need. Of course, it's supply and demand here as well. So if things are in demand, uh, they'll call more people back. But uh, they'll be laid off and furloughed. And I'm not sure what to think about that. I think everybody around the whole country is experiencing some sort of layoff and all that stuff. But hopefully everyone's going to be safe and they take care of their employees. I know the the Sands, they take care of all their employees. A lot of them that have been laid off, uh, they've been, um, you know, getting um, checks and stuff like that uh, from the company, the Sands Corp, which is Venetian Palazzo. You know, they've been getting their checks up to, and they're going to do it all the way up till October plus benefits. And I think MGM is just doing it up till uh, the end of September, but I don't know. It may be things will pick up. I'm not sure. I know after the first of the year, um, some conventions may come back here. Some may not. So we have to figure out what's going on with the conventions plus sporting events. Uh, you know, that's kind of been a kibosh here. We've got a brand new stadium and all this neat stuff here, but nobody knows if, uh, you know, sports are going to be a swing back to normal here with audience and uh, spectators and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll keep you up to date on that. It's kind of a little too early to tell on what's going to happen with sports and entertainment and all uh, people getting laid off and all this stuff going on. But the Mirage, I did a video on the Mirage. The Mirage just opened up. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link uh, above or below in the description uh, for the Mirage. But let me know what you think about the unemployment situation. Maybe you have a different take on unemployment uh, in your neck of the woods. But here in Vegas, it's a real serious issue here. It seems how our unemployment system here is kind of screwed up and uh, things like that. So hopefully they're fixing that and we get back on track and people get, you know, you know, unemployment money and all that stuff to pay their bills and all that stuff so we definitely hope everybody the best and uh definitely keep your chin up because uh, vegas is going to come back stronger when it does reopen fully and we get back people back 
We get international flights coming in. This is a big, huge thing for us that we need, uh, you know, not no, national. We can't rely just on the surrounding states like California, you know, Arizona, Texas, and all these other surrounding states to come in. And although that does help, it's not a major um, revenue source for Las Vegas. What we need is conventions and international travel. That is like the major draw for Las Vegas. So for all that to come back into full swing here, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're striving for. And hopefully that comes uh, sooner than what we think it will. So that's that. On the unemployment thing of things, I'm sorry to keep it. I just want to get that out of the way. So you guys have an idea of the unemployment situation does not look good here. But hopefully we will, you know, get out of that real quick and uh, move towards you know, greener pastures, if you will. And speaking of greener pastures, Las Vegas is developing a, a, a urban central park downtown. It's close to City Hall there, and they got a they got a nice plot of land they're going to do for a, like a central park. Now, if you're coming here to visit Las Vegas, chances are you probably won't go to this central park. It's more for like a locals surrounding businesses so if you can imagine like new york central park they're kind of doing one for us but on a way smaller scale but it's something good i think las vegas needs now on the flip side of that is vagrancy and people sleeping on park benches and you know filters itself out but there's a lot of new development coming to las vegas and it's downtown there's a lot of new restaurants you know like fremont street area we have a giant uh you know arc uh welcoming you and it's like a sign i think i showed it to you in other videos but i can show you again it's like an archway sign with a lot welcome to las vegas it ushers you into the downtown las vegas and uh that's going to be done soon so there's more revival Revitalizations and stuff like that going on. They're digging up streets and uh, putting new pipes in and all that stuff. I covered this stuff before. I just want to reiterate all that stuff. But we're getting a central park here, an urban central park that has food, restaurants, places to chill, grassy areas, and all that stuff. So that's going to be cool. I got a little graphic for you to show you what that looks like as well. But it looks pretty neat. I mean, well, maybe there'll be a fountain or something, but it does get quite hot here in the summer. So hopefully there's some shaded areas for people to chill out and, you know, maybe they're uh, on lunch or lunch break for some other things. But I see things uh, definitely moving in the right direction for Las Vegas as far as urban development, revitalization, knocking down the old blight and plight and whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, it's going to definitely take a turn here for the better here, in my opinion. I showed you guys the Target store that just opened up on the Las Vegas Strip, and they got a couple of floors above that. And what they plan on doing is putting a multi-million dollar Olive Garden above that Target store. So they're in developments of doing that. And Olive Garden's known to have these uh, endless bowls of pasta and breadsticks and salad, which I think is good if you want to carve up going for a run or you're going for a marathon, uh, a long bike ride, bike race, or whatever it might be. You might want to stop at the Isle of Garden that's going to be on the Las Vegas Strip. But as things development, we'll show you what that's all about. But they do plan on doing that. The locals have voiced their opinion on that. It's just, you know, do we need another chain restaurant on the Strip? Um, I, You know, I think it's a good idea. We'll give it a try, give it a spin, see if it works out. Just like many other restaurants or clubs or bars and things that they uh, try to do here in Las Vegas. Sometimes it works, sometimes it sticks, and sometimes it's just a complete flop. But being that it's a chain franchise restaurant, it may stick around for a while because along that strip area there, there's a lot of chain stuff going on and everybody likes to pop in and get, you know, maybe a Denny's or, you know, whatever it might be. But that's what's going on above the Target store. And if you haven't seen the Target video, I did do a walkthrough, so check that out if you get a chance. All right. Let's move on to entertainment. I want to try and keep this short and sweet for you guys. Uh, the entertainment that's going on in Las Vegas, it may come back in September. So we're looking at September 17th and the end of December, excuse me, September. 
is it looks like they have entertainment going. So Bellagio O, uh, that looks like it's going to be September 22nd in that area. So check the you know, uh, the website, their website, like Bellagio, Mandalay Bay, and go to, you know, whatever's going on. So like Mandalay Bay has Michael Jackson's one show. It's like a Cirque show. And uh, their schedule looks like uh, September 17th. And Bellagio looks like it's September 20th-ish. So that's what's going on for entertainment. You also have uh, Between Harrah's and The Link, you have Carnival Court, and it looks like a tiny like um, circus tent, but it's actually pretty big. Yeah. And they have a stage for music and all that stuff. So they plan on opening that up uh, close to uh, Labor Day so people co- can enjoy that. And if it opens up sooner, I'll correct that and whatever. But it looks like it's getting ready to open for live entertainment table games that they have you know they i think they do blackjack and roulette there but other other than that there's going to be places for people to stand or sit or whatever it might be and dance if you want to but it's pretty cool it's very lively people enjoy that and uh so we're looking forward to the carnival court to reopen and it's between the link and harrah's it's right there you can't miss it it gets pretty loud when they do the music and all that stuff. So that's what's going on in entertainment. So you guys, if you got value out of this, definitely give it a thumbs up. I'm looking for at least 3,000 thumbs up. So if you guys are interested in subscribing or you're interested in Las Vegas news and events or whatever it might be, definitely subscribe. We're looking for that 20,000 uh, you know, subscriber mark in our YouTube channel. So if you want to be part of the club, welcome to the club. And you guys, that's pretty much it for the news i'll be out and about in las vegas either on fremont street i know hunter's going to be out for labor day so look for hunter s thompson i dress up like hunter and do a hunter shtick if you haven't seen those videos they're pretty cool but anyways you guys take care of each other have a great day and i'll see you in the next video all right cheers Thank you.